rules of exponents with nasty expressions. So the rules of exponents that I know Moreno has, I know Gonzalez has. Marina, I trust you still have them. If you lost them and you're like a disorganized person, look at how look at how much I love look how much Mungia loves you. Look like here's Google Classroom. Go to assignment 29. Notice how much Mungia cares for you. Look what he did. He put rules of exponents and radicals all in one slide here. Look at so you can just review here. Look at, here's the seven rules that we did three weeks ago right there in all their glory. And here's the two two radical uh, properties that we did last week in all their glory. All for the taking. So if you lost those notes, they're right there on assignment 29. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to use these seven properties, but with nastier, nasty expressions. Kind of like the one from warm-up, we had fractional exponents. So let's, let's come back over here. So we have our seven rules. Let's get to example one. Here we go. Example one says... Six to the let's go x to the one fourth power times seven to the or x to the one half power. All right, so we have same base, just like warm up. Or now, what do we do with exponents? I have the same base, I'm multiplying what I do with the exponents. Add them. That's rule number three. Rule number three says add the exponents, so it's going to be x to the one fourth plus one half power. Good, everybody? Sorry. So I'm adding two fractions, they don't have the same denominator, so now I have to get, get common denominators in order to add them. So this is going to be x to the one fourth plus. Let's make one half with a denominator four. So off over here to the side, one half times two over two becomes two fourths. So the common denominator, common denominator between four and two is going to be four. So I converted one half to become two fourths. So this is really one fourth plus two fourths power. Now what I just did is a junior high skill. I took the fraction of one half, I multiplied it by the number one, look at the number one in the form of two over two, and I got a fraction that's two fourths. So one half became two fourths, same thing. So now I have x to the one fourth plus two fourths power is gonna be x to the, what would be one fourth plus two fourths? Three fourths, x to three fourths power. And we're done. That one's just a review of adding fractions. You're math three students, so that's not a big deal. If you need to review some fractions, you literally have millions of YouTube videos of how to add fractions or subtract fractions, not a big deal. Now, we know that x to the three fourths really means whenever the denominator becomes the index, this is really the fourth root of x to the third power. You guys remember that from last week. But we're going to leave our answer like this as a power, not a radical. So we're going to leave it like this. Even though this means that, we know this, that these are equivalent expressions. Let's leave our final answer as a power. Just for assignment 29. Safe. But you're still held responsible for knowing that x to the 3 fourths means the fourth root of x to the third power. Try example two. There we go. Let us go with 
Um, so x divided by x to the one third. X divided by X to the one third. I'm write that one down. All right. So the numerator. What would be the exponent for this X here on the numerator? Anybody tell me what would be the exponent for the numerator x? Help people. What would be the exponent here? Thank you. So now look what I got. I think it's the fourth rule of our rules of exponents says if you have the same base and you're dividing, you guys remember what to do with those exponents? Multiply would be power to power. We subtract them. Adding would be able to multiply. So dividing with the same base, we subtract the exponent. So this will be x to the 1 minus 1 third power. Look at that. Check that out. It is funky. So how do we subtract fractions? Well, the way we subtract fractions is exactly the same way we add fractions. We just got to make sure the numerators are the same. Or actually, the, the denominators, rather. So let me rewrite 1 as a fraction. This is really x to the 1 over 1 minus 1 third. Let's get common denominators. What number does both 1 and 3 both fit into? They, will, they both fit into 3. So, so 1 over 1 times 3 over 3. It's going to be three thirds. So I convert the denominator to a three by multiplying it by three. So one over one becomes three over three. This is really three thirds times one third power. Notice I convert one as three over three, so that I can have common denominators. It's only then I can subtract fractions. So now I got. 3 thirds minus 1 third, that's going to be x to the 3 minus 1 is 2, so x to the 2 thirds power, we're done. Be your answer for power. Even though you and I understand, you and I understand that x to the 2 thirds power really is a cube root of x to the second power, we know these mean the same. I want our Answer is at the power a base raised to an exponent. Okay, a few more examples. Here we go. Let's try. Example three. Let's try x to the three fourths power. Actually. Yeah, x to the 3 fourths times y to the 1 half all raised to the third. Look at that nasty expression. x to the 3 fourths times y to the 1 half all raised to the third power. Here we're going to use rule number 7 or 6. I can't remember. Rule six. It's called the uh, power of a product. Power of a product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the three to this power and three to that power. I'm going to find multiplying. So this will be x to the three fourths times three power. I'll put three over one. Times y to the one half times three power. I'll put three over one. Look at that. Crazy. 
right? So we're multiplying power to power, you multiply. So I got x, 3 fourths times 3 over 1 is going to be 9 fourths, x to the 9 fourth power, y to the numerator times numerator is 3, the number times the number is 2, we're done. x to the 9 fourth power, y to the 3 halves power. Again, we know this really means if we change this to a radical, we know the denominator becomes an index, which is really the fourth root of x to the ninth power times the square root of y to the third power. This means that, but we're leaving our answer as a power, a base raised to an exponent. So FYI. Okay. If you ask most teachers at Park West or even Pomona Unified to do this, they would like run away. Not me, Mister. Exactly. Let's do example four and we're done. Here we go. Example four, class one. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and there we go. X will go X to the two thirds power times so X and negative two thirds actually times uh, Y X to the one half rather all raised to a negative one power. That's the last one. Here we go. Multiplying same base, what do I do with the exponents inside the radical or inside the parentheses? I'm multiplying x and x, we have the same base. What do I do with the exponents in here? Add them. So the x to the negative two thirds plus one half power. Keep in mind that negative one out there doesn't disappear. Isn't, isn't that just the same thing to the opposite at the end? At the end, yes. Exactly. So what we need to do right now is get common denominators between the negative two thirds and the one half. What's the number that three and two both go into? Six. So if they both go into six, I have to ask myself, what do I have to multiply two thirds by to get a denominator of six? Well, I have to multiply it by two over two. Two over two. So three times two is six. Two times two is four. So it's really a negative four to six here. Negative four to six. That's two times a negative two became a negative four. Over here, one half times what will give me a six denominator? Well, two times three. So I'm going to multiply it by three over three. So 1 times 3 is the numerator, 2 times 3 is the denominator. So a 2 thirds plus 1, it's actually negative 2 thirds plus 1 half became negative 4, 6 plus 3, 6. So let's keep going. But I really have now x to the negative 4, 6 plus 3, 6 power all to the negative 1. I rewrote the fraction so there's the same denominator now. Question so far? I'm convinced the only difficult part of this small little lesson is just remembering the rules of fractions, how to add and subtract. That's just a small problem you can handle on your own by doing some YouTube videos or Khan Academy or Boot Camp. I got some videos on Boot Camp too about adding fractions. That's the only hard part of this lesson. Then we go. Uh, same denominator, we're ready to rock and roll. Negative 4 plus 3. What is negative 4 plus 3? Thank you. So I got negative 1 6 power. All to the negative one power. 
power to power? What do I do here? Oh, but this is really x to the negative one six power times negative one power. Well, anything times negative one is just the opposite sign, huh? so it's going to be x to the positive one six power for rock and roll. Right, Try to check that. Can I use the rest of the question? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, Bill. Grab your computer, do a credit check. Again, today should be the 48th, the 48th.